Hello again everybody. Just wanted to give you an update on how our uh, plant challenge is coming along. Here we are uh, 11 days into this challenge. You can see uh, in the potting soil, this is the garlic that I planted in the back. Uh, it's coming along very well. It's about uh, the width of my hand is about what that is, about three, four inches tall. And uh, some of the stuff that's planted in the uh, hydroponics. This is the lettuce here in the round uh, plastic uh, baskets. And in the front of this ice cube tray is some basil. And it's starting to come up. Things are starting to happen, get excited when there's snow on the ground. Here, uh, just lift this basket up to show. Here in a few days, there'll be, uh, there'll be roots coming out of the bottom of that basket. Now, all this stuff was planted the same day, the 13th of February here in 2011. And today's the 24th. So we're about 11 days in. And things are starting to come along. So uh, I wanted to give you an update on that and just show you here my lettuce in this uh, in this hydroponics is doing a lot better here in the rock wool and getting the nutrients. Uh, we'll be doing a pH test on this uh, shortly. I just want to compare that so that this is the lettuce I planted the same day. It's not doing so well and maybe I planted it in the soil a little too soon. A little too, uh, too eager. Here's our pH test. I'm going to take a sample of this water that we dumped in and added our nutrients to the other day. And uh, it just takes a little uh, water sample here, about half of this uh, test tube. And it's important that we get the right mix, right chemical balance, because uh, for the plants to absorb the uh, the nutrients, we have to have the right balance. So we can't have it too high, and it can't be too low. So that's the purpose of this uh, test. And you want to keep uh, an eye on water pH because conditions change. This water is just, uh, it's not tap water, but it is water uh, purchased in a uh, five gallon container is what I bought. And then, uh, you know, with the uh, rock wool and uh, and the uh, pebbles that they're planted in and and the materials that they're dealing with the pH level will change and so you've got to you've got to keep an eye on that and as you can see here in this example this pH level is real dark and uh, it's actually too high so uh, when the level is too high uh, there's a, there's an alkaline in it and we've got to neutralize that and bring it down. So, you see, we want to be in the yellow to yellow-green area, and we're real dark in our test example here. So what we'll need to do is, uh, uh, from a kit, uh, there's a pH control kit that you can buy for 12 or 14 bucks. It comes with um, a base, uh, here uh, pH low it brings it down and uh, there's a pH high so you're regulating the uh, the alkaline and the acid the acidity in the water so we want to keep that in balance so I'm going to add some of the pH low and do another uh, another test so this is just something you have to get the feel for um, how much you need to use Unless you're a scientist, I'm not. But <laughs> uh, it doesn't take very much. So you work with it a little bit until you get it to come within the uh, within the levels. So you'll see here as we uh, as we uh, apply the the uh, uh, indicator that this is going to be it's going to come down quite a bit, but. I think we have to leave it go for a couple of days and check it again. But you'll see here in a minute. We're looking for a, a yellow to yellow green color. And uh, see as we add our four drops here again. All the conditions are the same besides one being in water 
and one being in potting soil. I mean, the light conditions are the same, temperatures is the same. Uh, we're running the lights 12 hours on and 12 hours off. And when the lights are on, the temperature is uh, uh, staying around 72 degrees, 73. And it drops down to about 70, or I'm sorry, 65 at night. So we'll check it again in a few days and give you an update. Take care.